Hey everybody, Josie here, and today um, I'm going to be reviewing this uh, Netflix original series that came out, I think, uh, about a, a week ago, uh, or over a week, it was on the March 31st, um, and this show is called uh, 13 Reasons Why. Um, so the show uh, starts off, um, and we're told, uh, it takes place in a high school, and we're told that this girl... Um, committed suicide um so basically the first episode uh you're kind of seeing how the schools uh um responding to it how they're acting um the students um and then um you're obviously wondering well why because you're not told immediately why she killed herself you just know she's dead and then um you meet um uh, someone you assume is her friend and uh later in the episode um this this guy uh clay he receives a uh, a box with uh seven uh tapes uh seven cassette tapes in him uh he finds a uh, a cassette player he plays a tape and he realizes that the tapes were actually recorded by this the girl who killed herself uh Hannah Baker now what she says in the tapes is that um that there are um so there's seven tapes front and back, so 13. And she says that these are the 13 reasons why I killed myself. And he's playing the tapes, right? And so she also says that if you're receiving these tapes, if you're receiving these tapes, um, that means you're one of the 13 reasons. So basically each tape um, centers about, around a specific point in her life in which everything just went wrong. and each one is a different uh, point and highlights a different person. And each of these person, each of these people um, are basically the reason why she killed herself. Now, um, as the show progresses, uh, you start realizing that this kid, I mean, he is her, her friend. But then you start wondering, well, why is he receiving the tapes? Because only people who were only the people who are uh, who made her want to commit suicide are receiving the tape so you start wondering you know and so that that's the mystery you're trying to figure out well why she killed herself you're trying to figure out what did he do and then um on top of that you're seeing um her parents who are filing a lawsuit against the school you see how what they're going through you see kind of like um the collateral damage really of of uh what happened after she killed herself um you know so the the her parents are fighting the school and you see the school things from the school's perspective as they're trying to uh obviously com combat the lawsuit and the most important thing is that you kind of see these kids because um uh clay the main character um he seems to have anxiety or some something like that so he he can't really listen to through listen to the tapes all through at uh, all at once so he kind of needs little breaks in between them and these other kids who listen to the tapes before him um as the show progresses you find out that most of them um they kind of listen to it like um all in one day while he's taking uh he's taking his time to listen to it i mean each episode is a different tape and you start seeing the other kids as you start realizing who they are, um, that they're getting really nervous. They're trying to hide something and they don't want him, uh, to listen to all the tapes and they don't want the information to get out because nobody besides these kids know about these tapes. You know, the mom of uh, the girl does not know. And so not only are you trying to figure out why she killed herself, you're trying to figure out what are they hiding? And it's very, it creates a very interesting dynamic, you know, there's so much going on, and you're just intrigued the whole way, and it's, it's amazing, really, uh, that the, what these people try and hide, and it's, it's a very emotional show, um, there's a, many, many, uh, there's certain, uh, episodes that just really got to me, you know, um, episode nine that one's a really tough one to watch and it's just it just kind of breaks you down but then it it kind of gets worse after that um uh, you know uh episode 11 that one uh had me in tears at the end it's just very heartbreaking and then eventually you do get to the point where you see the suicide 
Um, so as a show, the show, um, each episode, uh, it's intertwined with, you know, how people are reacting to it. But then you're also seeing flashbacks of as uh, he's listening to the tapes. And basically you're seeing it's a just juxtaposition of um, what happened and what's happening now. And I think the show balances that really well. Uh, but I'm telling you, once you get to the suicide, the show doesn't shy away from it. And the reactions and everything that happens, it just feels so real. And I'm telling you, many times, um, especially towards the end of the show, the last uh, last few episodes, um, starting from 9 on to 13, like, so many scenes just had me, like, literally in tears because you're watching this girl go through all this shit and everything just piling on her. And it's amazing because... One of the themes is you never know what someone's going through. And because a lot of the stuff that these kids do, um, they aren't bad per se. But it's stuff that we may think as insignificant. But because we don't know what a person is going through, that little thing to them, it it's everything, you know. Um, so... They destroy her reputation. So then after that, it, um, some someone else does something that, again, we think it's uh, they think it's funny, you know, um, but it kind of opens the door and it becomes open season on this girl and just it just shows you how kids can be cruel. And the thing the thing I want to say is I really like the portrayal of these characters because uh, most of these kids they aren't they aren't evil people they aren't bad kids. Some of them just did something stupid, you know, one little thing, like I said, maybe they're just joking around, but it has a, such a huge impact. And now some of them are feeling guilt. Some of them are trying to hide it. And you're just seeing all this stuff that they just didn't think was a big deal. And now it just it's destroying their lives, literally. And I mean, for the most part, um, you don't hate any of them. Except there's there is one where you he's just you you just you you'll hate him and I don't want to spoil it because I do want people to watch this show, but for the most part everyone is a uh, very three dimensional you know that all these characters have layers and everyone's going through different stuff and it's it's um it's amazing to watch um and I don't know the the ending is kind of a, a bittersweet I mean she, I mean this this girl died there's no changing that you know but wow it's 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 a it's very impactful show um i do rec i recommend uh people watch this and i and i'm i want to get the word out and have as many people watch this because i think it's some some something uh people should watch um especially if you're uh you know like in middle school or i would say more high school will be more appropriate because there are some disturbing scenes um like if you're in high school um if you're if you're a parent definitely something you should check out because it kind of shows you um how sometimes the signs are there and we don't we don't see them you know we completely miss them and there's also a there's also like a behind the scenes sort of thing after the show is over there's like a separate thing and it's like 30 minutes and i'd also recommend you watch that because um you, uh you see the the actors talking about the the show and then some of the producers but then you also get psychologists and psychiatrists and they're kind of showing you because um i know uh a lot of people, um, not me in particular, but I know many people will be watching and saying, well, why didn't she do this? Or why is she doing that? And this this uh, behind the thing, this behind the scenes kind of with these psychiatrists and these experts, they kind of show, they kind of explain what goes on through uh, people's, through a uh, young uh, uh, teenager's uh, heads. And it gets, a, it gives you a bigger understanding to why maybe they're not speaking up or why they're acting the way they are. And I think it's great. Um, and like I said, this girl, they, she, she's not perfect. And you're not told, you're not being shown like her in a perfect light. You know, she's a person with flaws, but at the end of the day, she doesn't deserve what happened to her. She doesn't deserve to die. And it's just a sad thing to see, you know, because like I said, you see how one person's death kind of affects everyone. And, um, this is, probably one of the best uh things i've i've watched in a while um and it's one of those things that i 
I think it's an important uh, piece of uh, media or just something uh, that's important for people to see. And I highly recommend it. I hope you guys uh, watch it. If you watch this video, you know, uh, put it on, put it in your queue. It's on Netflix, you know, and it's it's all there. Thirteen episodes. Um, they're addicting, and it might change your opinion on things. You know, make make you think on uh, stuff you said or or done in the past that you thought weren't important, but they are. So, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and please check the show out it's it's really good okay bye